Hey guys, it's Mike, the Bald Adonis. So in today's video, we're going to talk about, I went to the dermatology today. Gum out. I get people that bust my balls about chewing gum. So the gum is out. Okay, so every year I go see my dermatologist. And every year, I usually have one or two um, precancerous little buildup skin. So he just zaps it off with that freezing cold, I, I don't know what it's called, I didn't even look into it. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, one day you will. Uh, just pre... Pre... Prevent, prevent, it helps prevent cancer. It's pre-cancer stuff. You zap it, a couple days later, it falls off, okay? So today's visit was about a full forehead, forehead and scalp treatment. Now, I never had one, and today it was, it was, it was easy, easy breezy. I went in, and, and the nurse, her name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth was, one, super nice, very friendly, very, very knowledgeable. You couldn't ask for a, a better person, and thank you very much, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth was giving me some facts today as well. And let's go back to how the procedure goes, and then we'll get back to what she was talking about. So... It's called the ALA PDT treatment. So the ALA is a acid type of solution or whatever it is, treatment. They put on my ears, over my eye where um, a little precancerous skin is forming. And she did my forehead and most of my skull. And that gets up a lot of the old... Uh, sunspots or Asian spots. Uh, this cleans up the head. And, you know, I've been shaving my head since I was 25 years old. I'm 48, so almost half my life. And this is the first treatment that I've done. She said that my head will look rejuvenated. Will look, it, she said I'll be very happy. So in a few days, we'll see. We'll see, Elizabeth. But let's talk a little bit about the... Um, sun cancer and what people really don't get into is skin care protection. I myself used to go tanning just like everybody else. I would go into the booth, no not even the booth, the one you uh, the one you stand up in and used to go tanning. I did that for a few years in my late 20s into my early 30s and the tanning never worked out for me. I was always red. I'm German Irish, so I just I look like a lobster. Yeah, always red. So I phased that out. Stop tanning. You know, I know it's not good good for me, and I do drive a lot as well. So try and protect your face while driving a lot. Um, the visors work good on your car. Some some visors visors don't work as well as some cars. So, you know, you get it with a hat, the baseball cap. So, guys and girls that wear that baseball cap, yep, it protects all of this, but it doesn't protect your ears. It doesn't protect the back of your neck. You know what I mean? So, us other guys that wear these type of hats that I think we're sexy, well... I am sexy, but it still doesn't cover my ears, okay? This bad boy, this is what I need to wear. I may look silly. I'd rather look silly than having cancer, right? Get the old, it protects over your ears, your face, the back of your neck. 
It works. I may look silly, but it works. If I can wear the big hats you girls wear, you know what? I'm man enough and secure enough that maybe I will wear one of those just for shits and giggles. I'll get a big old hat, maybe even an umbrella, and walk around. <laughs> Maybe not the umbrella, but that's not a bad idea. Now I know why you girls use the sun umbrellas. Those are cool. But, so, but the real issue is, yeah, we need to start getting some sun protection. Even though we're from the Boston area, we, need, we do need sun. We need our vitamin D. Yes, absolutely. We feel great when spring comes. The Red Sox are starting to play. Everybody feels good. It's springtime. Summer's coming. I could get prepared. Go tanning. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth told me, what for patients used to go tanning twice a day? You know what happened to them? Cancer in the testicles. Can you imagine... Guys, having that, men that are watching this, can you imagine having skin cancer in your testicles? Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, that's going to hurt. For what? To be dark? I got to be darker than that person? I got to, I, 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 my skin's got to glow? No. Well, they have the fake stuff out there now. You can spray paint your body. I tried that 12 years ago. No, longer. About 15 years ago, I tried it. Maybe technology has come a long way, but 15 years ago, go in the booth, spray your front side, you turn around, spray your back side. That was disgusting. It would dark in some spots, running over here. Your toenails would get that. That's that stain on there. Oh, oh, that's nasty. But us people with egos have to look good. We have to be tanned. Tanning looks awesome on a lot of people. Especially you girls. You girls are fine tanned. Absolutely. But there's a cost to that. You can get cancer. You know, a little bit of this, sunblock, sunscreen, whatever it is. You can still be beautiful. You don't have to be super tan, right? You know, we all want to look good. So what if I'm pure white? You know, so what? Somebody's not going to talk to me or be my friends because I'm not tanned? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Know? But another thing, with the time, we guys, you guys, everybody, we need vitamin D. If you haven't had a physical, the next time you do have a physical, tell or ask your doctor just to see what your your reading is with your with your uh, vitamin D. You know, I can't tell you guys how much to take. I myself take five thousand uh, milligrams. I think it's milligrams. Whatever it is. But that's me just guessing what I should be taking. I don't really know. I haven't had the blood work. But I'm taking something. Because it's winter time. People get into that winter funk. We still need our vitamin D. In the summertime, I still take vitamin D. Because I'm not out there overexposing myself. You know? I, I, I'm, I'm probably fine in the summertime. But why not? I can't do any harm with that. So guys, girls, just be aware. Cover up. Especially your kids. Being a little kid, not, not now, but when I was, I was getting sunburned all the time. I remember my dad putting towels full of vinegar over my, my little body because I was so sunburned. And I didn't know this, but Elizabeth told me today, that from being a little kid, too much sun exposure, sunburns, 
Later on in life, you may still get sun cancer. So think about that. Be smart. Wear some protection. On that note, Bald Don us out.